Today, let's look at the charts for Bitcoin BTC, Solana Sol, Ethereum ETH, Binance BNB, XRP formerly known as Ripple, Cardano ADA, Thorchain Rune, Polygon Matic, Chainlink Link, Harmony One, VChain Vet, Hedera HBAR, Aptos APT, and then I will shock and disappoint most of you and do three more charts. But first, I will show you something that I can guarantee you haven't seen before, unless you remember where I've shared it in our Discord. And those of you on Pro have seen it yourself for a long time now already. Here are coins that turned from downtrend to uptrend yesterday against the US dollar. These coins and coin like these are what everyone is now getting excited about on Twitter or X. Finally, number go up because they go up in dollar. But every single coin that turned up yesterday is still in downtrend or neutral versus BTC. Yesterday all of them no exceptions. And today, all of them except one. So if you're out there with a shotgun approach right now, you will probably end up being up in USD, but down in BTC. So don't do that. Instead, you need to do two things at this point of the market. One, you need to move into also looking to qualify coins on the BTC chart, meaning the altcoin versus BTC. And number two, you need a surgical approach because most of these BTC charts still look garbage. I hope you found this insight valuable because I even hesitated sharing it here on YouTube because it's so valuable. Now let's dive into the charts. So if we recap Bitcoin after this macro bottom, we moved into range. We had this low time frame inverse head and shoulders, which confirmed Larsen line flipped gold at 29k something. We got the range breakout, which happened really fast. If we switch to the one hour candles, we can see that you had basically three or four hours to act on that if you wanted to buy the breakout. And then price has now moved into a new range. And after a major move up, this pattern is called a flag. And if this confirms on the upside, meaning this flag confirms and breaks on the upside in an uptrend with Lodge Line Gold as it is now, that is then another actionable event. If instead this breaks on the downside, I'd be very cautious here. Solana, that everyone is excited about, and we shared it here, guys, because Solana had this inverse head and shoulders indicative of someone is buying. Some big players are sitting here buying. They're trying to not move the price until they've finished accumulating, but towards the end of the pattern, they can't avoid it, and price shoots up. This pattern reached its target, then price retraced a little, Lodge Line turned gold, and from the neckline, this is a healthy 80% gain with arguably very little, if any, downside risk. Looking at BTC chart, this is potentially even clearer. And look here how levels come back. Look at this support level all the way back from early 2021. That acted as support again in November 2022 throughout spring 2023. And if we zoom in now, it was key support just last month in September 2023 and price shot up from there. So if you think TA is some kind of magic alliance, well, you have to agree that it kind of works. Now there is a conference going on. So if late to this entry, I would just caution a little bit in case we get the buy the rumor, sell the news kind of situation. Moving on to Ethereum, even though it has had this big recovery, basically 20% now during October, I think the better picture of what is really going on we see on the BTC chart. And I will change to a little slower time frame to make this even clearer. See how easy and clear everything becomes. Ethereum was in this resistance zone throughout 2021, 2022, couldn't break out, moved into downtrend, and if we zoom in, we see that it's now dangerously close to falling below this last support and this chart really needs some strong buying support like happened here in mid 2022 to recover back up this resistance. If it doesn't, 
Well, still a long way down. Moving on, Binance BNB. This US dollar support at 206 has held one, two, three, four, five times here throughout August, September, October. Now hitting this level that was previously support, now turning into resistance. But again, I think everything is clear on the BTC chart because you can see it here. This level was so key and it's held here in July. But then if we zoom in, that level actually broke and BNB to BTC remains in a distinct downtrend. Not great. And XRP is a fascinating coin. Now I change the weekly candles here just to show you something interesting. XRP to BTC today is at the exact same level as it was in 2014, nine years ago. Isn't that incredible? Looking at the more recent time, as you can see here, XRP to BTC has entered this very distinct range. We can potentially narrow it down even a little bit more, but really nothing has happened here recently. Just bounced around this range. Despite all the drama, despite everything that's happening in the lawsuits, nothing much has happened in the chart. Cardano ADA. I see Cardano ADA fans are excited. This is the USD chart. And indeed, we did hold a key dollar support that held here in December 2022. Again in June this year, in August, in September, again in September, in October, again in October. So clearly there is strong buying support here at 0.24. And price has now moved up to about 0.30. But again, that is mainly because Bitcoin has moved up. If we change to the BTC chart. I think ADA paints a very clear picture. As you might recall, if you were here at the time, we called the top on the day here on the YouTube channel. And since then, there's been an almost constant downtrend all the way since 2021. And I'm sorry to say, that hasn't changed yet. Thorchain Rune, a coin I've covered many times here on the channel because I think it's very interesting technology and what they have built is in my opinion very valuable for the whole industry. And this chart looks quite different from many of the other ones we looked at before. If we zoom in here you see something interesting already this summer. This is an Adam and Eve bottom formation which confirmed and sure enough price shot up quite a lot. Larson line flipped gold. This level that was previously support, resistance, support that eventually failed was reclaimed as support which held a great number of times as you can see here. And on the USD chart Rune is now approaching this key resistance at about 3.1. Be very interesting to see what happens there. If we look at the BTC chart. Here you see that not all charts look garbage on the BTC chart. With a surgical approach you can find outliers like Solana, like Rune, where the trend is actually up on the BTC chart, Larson line gold. One key support held here, another key support level held here and price has shot up. If we look up we see that we are now approaching another resistance level also on the BTC chart. Will be very interesting to see what happens there. This chart has been at much higher levels in the past following an enormous run up. Diligent project that has worked hard since 2019. Polygon Matic, another coin that many of you are interested in that also has some interesting technicals. On the USD chart, you see it here already. That's been a key level that faked once on the downside, but found support, recovered back in 2022. Now this chart is toying with that level again. Faked a little on the downside, found support here, confirmed the double bottom, which you see from here, down, up here, down, up here, confirmed, broke out, retested, held. And if we zoom in, we can see how this played out. Also on low time frames, down, up, double bottom, broke the highest point between the lows, moved up but failed, did it again, down, up, down, up, broke the highest point between the two bottoms, confirmed and continued up. But as I've said many times before, I think everything becomes clear on the BTC chart. And I think you will agree with me. If we zoom out here, you see how Matic had this enormous run up during 2021 and then got into this range. And it hasn't moved out of there since. Now it's hinging at the exact bottom of this support, 
should it fail? Should it fall out here? It's not looking good, guys. There's a long way down here. But if it holds, if we zoom in and starts moving up, creates another double bottom here, it's quite good risk reward up to the range high because the downside risk would be pretty small. Exactly those kind of risk rewards. That could be interesting. Chain link. Many of you are asking me to look at link. Link is one of those coins that had an enormous run up during the previous cycles. Actually, this one existed even before this chart. One of the coins that actually made 1000x. And then it's moved into this range. And this time actually a range on the dollar chart. See? Top of the range, bottom of the range, top of the range, bottom of the range, top, top again, bottom, and so on and so forth. And finally, it has broken out. That's why people are so excited now. This is a valid rectangle, a valid range breakout. But let's look at the BTC chart. I did actually talk about this on the previous video. That's when I drew this one. This is a falling wedge where a breakout is actually bullish. But what's more interesting in this chart is if we zoom in because we have actually a horizontal pattern here. And I like horizontal patterns. Change the color of this one, make it a little thicker so it becomes clearer. Here we have an inverse head and shoulders. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder, confirmed, fell below the neckline but didn't invalidate because it didn't go below the right shoulder broke out with the trend up with large online gold. So if you are a link fan, here you have a contained downside risk. And if you believe in the project, upsides are always unlimited, almost in crypto. So low time frame in our head and shoulders, large line gold on both USD and BTC chart, and high time frame wedge which has broken on the upside. I asked in our Discord for some coins that people wanted me to look at. One was one, Harmony One. Another coin that probably got a lot of fans during the previous cycle. During 2021, one, this one ran up almost 10,000%. That's 100x. Then Larsen Line flipped. This one moved down minus 97%. Remember to wear your Hodel Sucks socks, guys. Because going 100x up and then giving almost all that money back to the market by holding through a minus 97.5% downtrend just doesn't make any sense, guys. Don't do that. Now this one has moved up a little, but actually the trend hasn't turned up even on the USD chart yet and the BTC chart still looks pretty bad with the trend down. Another long-term favorite coin of many people is this one, VeChain. Another coin that did massive gains in previous cycles, 18,000% and was one of those coins that I showed earlier that has now turned up versus USD gold flip, large line gold. But we should, in my opinion, also look at the BTC chart because frankly, that's been a pretty grim picture for the past two plus years. This is almost a straight line down on the log chart and that trend hasn't turned up yet. But of course if it would do that, if this turns into the bottom where it turns, the confirmation of that double bottom would be a break above this level at about, what is it, 70 sats. Hedera H bar. I think you start seeing the pattern now guys. Massive run ups during previous cycles, 500% here in 2021 gold flip 1400% another gold flip here another 100% but then Larsen line turns down and we get a minus 92% drawdown. Now people are excited because we have some movements in USD but if we move to the BTC chart it hasn't been enough and while this one tried twice this year to actually come back it hasn't worked out and today the BTC trend is still down. For fans of this project, this level here better hold and to create a double bottom, we would need to get over this level to 60 sets. We'll take one more from this list, Aptos APT. This one looks a little bit different. If we recap this one, this one actually had a distinct breakout point, but didn't really hold, went into a downtrend on the USD chart, Dodge line blue, now it has moved up versus USD. And as you can see here, there has been massive buying pressure, but the trend hasn't turned around yet. And this thing I just showed you is much clearer on the BTC chart, isn't it? Look here what a straight line down this coin made on the BTC chart. And trying to catch it here in a downtrend might lead to a lot of failed entries. Well, you'll have to cut it, trying to catch the knife on the way down. You probably want some sort of indication that this time is different. If I try my best to be optimistic, 
would be something like this that this is a left shoulder head right shoulder if it clears this level and doesn't wick back down like it did the previous time but of course i would like to see the trend also turning up if you look for something like this at least you have something to hold on to and you also get an invalidation level so you know when your trade didn't work out so you limit the losses on the downside now if we look back on this list most of these are winners from the last cycle, but I don't think that's where the biggest winners will be in the next cycles. I think those will be among new coins. That's why I built this discovery page in Lars Online Pro. I need a tool like this. And I think you need a tool like this. You won't find this on social media because no one is shilling something which they are still accumulating themselves. They are shilling it when they want to sell after the pump. So you can't rely on that. You need another way to find them. And you can't humanly go through 10,000 live coins. Even if you only spend 10 seconds per chart, that takes 27 hours. And it's only 24 hours in a day. Sadly, like AI coins, many were new in this cycle. This one, for example, a coin that I showed some time back, had a massive run up, parabola, 34,000%, entered into a wide range, but still from the bottom of this range to the top of the range is 400%. Which isn't bad actually. This is then this coin versus Ethereum because this is a Uniswap chart, but still eliminate some of the speculative movements versus the US dollar and see how well it charts. Super clear support, support moved up a little, and now you can see how it perfectly rejected on this level at the top of the range. Should it break out, that's a decent target, equivalent to the size of the range on the log chart, which would be somewhere up here, if it breaks out. Now if you are alert, you will notice something, but hey Larson, there wasn't any Larson line indication here when this parabola happened. Well, in Larson Line Pro, there actually is. There is more to this tool than I think many of you have realized. So while there was no trend indication here in TradingView, with the Larson Line Pro algorithm, there actually is. And in many cases, you also have earlier price history than you will find on TradingView. That's another thing which we simply can't do on TradingView. I need this stuff. I'm trying to build tools that help me in my own process. Let me give you another example example so you understand exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not perfect. I'm trying to build stuff that helps me. Almost a year ago, one guy sent me a DM almost every day to look at Caspa KAS. When I first looked at it, I can't remember exactly when it was, but the chart didn't look so great. So I made a note of it, but then I forgot about it. And I only really checked it out when I started seeing it on social media. After it had already gone thousands of percent in gains already for something that charted perfectly using my own process. So I missed it. Now what I do instead is that I add new coins that I come across like that into my watch list on Large Online Pro. Then if or when they turn up in trend or clear a key level, I get an alert and I look at it. I'm very happy with that process. Of course you can do everything with pen and paper, but will you do it? every single day, for years. I know I won't. At least I need something to help consistency along. I'm humbly offering you the knowledge and the tools to help you better analyze the market yourself and help with your own consistency, if you need it. Let me take another example that one of you asked me for in the Discord just an hour ago. Roll Bitcoin, RLB. And this one on the USD chart is gold. Chart looks interesting. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder for another inverse head and shoulders. So at least you have a clear invalidation level here. Not just randomly holding it forever together with the trend should it turn down. But the frequent problem that you come across if we're now talking about new coins is is that you find a chart like this on TradingView, which doesn't have long enough history. This one goes back to June 2023. You try some other, Poloniex. This one only goes back to August. And there's a lot of charts. Maybe one of these has longer history. I haven't checked all of them. But just to illustrate that you will come across coins like this that start somewhere 
while actually there is price history earlier than that, it's just not on the trading view chart. Now in this case you can see that the trend is up. You just need to squint your eyes. You don't need any tools to see that. But sometimes it's not as clear as it is here. So problem, what to do guys? Well, I have solved it already. Here is history in Large Online Pro and this one goes back already to 2022. I just hid it here to not overwhelm you with numbers. But we can see that this one flipped gold in January this year at 0.003. Then it flipped blue in April for a 6.7 times multiplier. Then it faked us. Remember I said it's not always as clear as it looks here. So this one faked, trend turned up, turned out it didn't hold. In this calculation I've just ignored stop loss. Normally you would put the stop loss here so you wouldn't get that kind of drawdown. But let's pretend that you ignored that. Then you got a 33% drawdown. Now your one dollar that was previously 6.7 is now worth only 4.5. But then there was another gold flip on the 1st of July at price 0.035. And 1st of July was here. You can't see it in this chart. I'm just illustrating this. Again, maybe there is some other chart here on TradingView. I haven't looked. But turned up here at 0.035. And from there to current price is another 470%, which is 5.7 times. So another multiplier of 5.68. And if we multiply this together, that becomes 25x or plus 2400%. So this is stuff that I have built in here, guys. There's more to the Lodge Line Pro tool than maybe meets the eye. So if you're new here, I think you should start with the course. It's not burdensome. It runs over three weeks and you get Lodge and Line Indicator for TradingView free with the course. There's no recurring fee or anything. You get my TA report every Friday that has at least so far proven pretty valuable to many people. You get the Discord access and this is a one-time fee. This is not a subscription. One-off payment. No recurring fee. Thank you. If you have taken the course, I, I definitely think you should get on the Pro Tool. This is an actual service with server cost and support. So this is a subscription. Regular price is this for one year. But within 30 days of joining the course, it's this price and you lock in that discount for life. This is not a video where I will tell you what coins to buy. There are plenty of channels that will chill you. Coins to buy which they are then secretly dumping themselves on you. So if you have a problem with my approach, I think you should go and follow one of those channels and see how that goes for a while. And then welcome back to knowledge, analytics tools and the community of people sharing a common vocabulary, tool set and process and become captain of your own ship. Thank you, Tak. City of Larsen out. Hey do. Actually, I forgot to say, I am very excited about this point in the market. It is fantastic. I think whatever happens from here, volatility is back, opportunities are back. So if you think I don't look excited, I just look like this, guys. Can't help it. Tack.